Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. My name is Basilisk, I'm still your host, let's get started. Right now I'm going to remove him from my party. Well, in the last episode we made our way to Manan, in this episode we're going back to Manan. I hope you're here to play some Paza. Uh, one game, really quick. One game. I don't have a gambling addiction, what, what do you want about Ugh, not a great start. I'm getting high card. Lots of high cards. Generally, low cards can be better, but this will give me a 20. Fucker. Alright, well, at least I made a music card. Jeez. I'd be kind of upset if he pulled a minus 7 out of there. No, he can't have minus seven. What am I on about? All right, I'm gonna have to take the risk here. All right, so far we've managed to get to 20 every time. All right, I've only got one card left though, so I'm gonna have to play it a little, be, be cautious this time about when I use it. For instance, it's pretty much useless to me now. Nah, I'll just take it. I'll take the loss. Give me a four. That would be nice. And I can stand with a 19. Ha! -ha. You got lucky that last game. Nah, I'm, I'll be going now. So clear out. Goodbye. Give me my money. All right. Hold on. Yeah, I forgot to turn off my touchpad blocker. Sorry about that. Um. K Y. Why? You have a really lot to talk. Okay. What are you on about? I shall look into these disappearances for you. Uh, what are my, what are the? Okay, there's some swoop races around here too. It's a bit difficult, pretty easy to get lost on Manon, which is part of, which is another reason I'm not a big fan of the planet. We go back around. Let's find out why they're hiring those mercenaries. Man, traveler, they're adoring. I just want to talk. Why is it? Why is the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind. The mercenaries they hire must be failing. I think about young Selkath. But my business. You want to tell me what's going on? An Iridorian has no friends. Though I feel a strange kinship with you. You do not seem like the others of this world. Even the Sith here do not understand our kind. The Sith sought to buy my loyalty with credits. 
as if wealth could somehow quench my burning bloodlust. They would have been better off hiring a Chani for the errands they had me running. What were you doing for the Sith? The task paid well, but was boring and beneath me. I was told to lure the Selkath youth to the Sith Embassy. Nothing more. I lied, I threatened, I promised, and I brought the most promising youth of the fish people to the Sith. And there I left them. To what purpose I neither know nor care. Perhaps when the Sith learn I have betrayed their secret, they will try to kill me. I would welcome the excitement. Is there more you would ask of me, human? Mm, I'll be going now, thank you. Yes, I'm not surprised. Is that not worth dark side points? Whatever. Hello, Mandalorian. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar would be a Johnny Nerf herder cowering in the corner. I keep skipping, I'm sorry. Now, normally I charge you for information. Times are good right now, and I'm feeling generous. So ask your questions. Free of charge. Number three. They ain't saying. But the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. Alright, I'll be going now. So why are you telling me? Alright, let's go pester the Achani. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Yo. Are you hiring for the Republic? Neither. Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. Oh, you're friendly. Alright. So neither group knew what to do about that. Let's see what my journal says. Ah, yes. Okay, yeah. Alright, so the Republic Mercy. Mercenaries weren't helpful so, with that. Do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure he'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Hello, good sir. Fuck you, good sir. Hello, good sir. Mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. Why are you hiring mercs? In case mercs? you haven't noticed, there's a war. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now, excuse me. I have to continue my rep. Yeah, huh. All right, let's go exploring some more. Where the traveler? Let's take this door, see where it leads me. Um, Otto High Court. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. 
I mean, that is a lot of money. Very blunt. Good look at the inner workings of these courts, though. Let's go explore elsewhere for now. Get off me! Uh, where does this take me? Okay, yo, dude. Let me in. Oh, okay, I need to go to the courts and get an arbiter, an arbiter pass, I guess. Whatever. Ah, get off the wall. Hi. I would like to inv investigate the murder case it's involving Sunry. Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Now then, my first step is going to be to talk to each judge. This is actually one of the most complex side quests in the game right here. So my first step here in, get in doing this trial is going to be to talk to each judge. Let's we'll start with Judge Dula. What do you th let's, find let's get some information. Okay. Anything suspicious about the case? Well, I think he's pro-Sith. Yes, I know. Shut up. Alright, let's talk to Judge Kota. Information, please. Sorry about that, that was my alarm. Anything suspicious? No, oh, that's it. He doesn't appear to be pro- He appears to be poor Republic. Hello, get out of my way. Now for Judge Shelkar. Questions about the, retri the trial. Information, please. God, that is an annoying voice. No, that's it. He doesn't seem to be... Alright, now then, let's speak to... 
to the next judge, Nail Shakan. Information, these. Information, please, about your opinions. I can't get a read on you. Yeah. Uh, let's discuss. He's pro imperial. Hello, Joseph. What do you think of summary? Anything suspicious? Uh, I'm more mercenary than Republic, and hell, I'm even legally, in my backstory, I'm technically a hired criminal, so hey. Alright, now that we've gotten the judge's opinions, there's a couple of veterans. Oh boy, they're in. Um, there's a couple of. Holy crap. A couple of witnesses. This is going to be complex. We're going to be wandering around for a bit. Hello, Alora. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Summer's trial. My husband is in. Information, please. There's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a... Sorry, I didn't mean to skip it. Alright. No, I'm a bit of a... Uh, oh, crap. Never tell her. Find the real evidence. That's all I have. Alright, she, she firmly believes Sunri's innocent. Alright, we'll lay, we'll save Sunry himself for last. There's other witnesses, so we want to go to the hotel. Next. Let's find fucking find the hotel. Cause I don't actually know where it is off the top of my head. Also, sorry for that beeping noise a bit. It, um, that would have been, get, stop walking into the wall. That was my phone's alarm clock. No, oh, that's called our distribution center. I'm not going to be allowed into that. Alright, so we'll head over this way. And in we go. Oh boy. Your precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Anyways. That's a store. Not worried about it right now. Um... Where is this hotel at?
Yes, this is it. Open sesame. Right, we'll leave Ignis for now. He's one of the witnesses. Uh. On it. Done. First things first, we're going to raid the hotel. Fruit med pack. You! You're freaking useless to me! No, you're number two. I want the third. Or the first. There he is. You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I knew. What more do you all want? What do you know about Sundry and, Sundry and Alasa? Sundry, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alasa's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. Okay, so they were having a relationship. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is... And there isn't any Sorry. rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although, if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Um, Sith Master? Ah, uh, well, Alasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. Uh, maybe if I tossed in hundred credits. I don't want to fling around my Force powers. Plus, I get dark side points this way. Since you put it that way, well... One time, I saw Alasa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alasa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Dark Jedi, huh? Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. If I know how ruthless they are. Now that's all I'm going to tell you. Quite. I'll testify to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna ru I'm gonna loot your box here, dude. Hey, free money! <laughs> Thanks for the refund. What's this room? Unopenable. Intriguing. Anyways, our next witness is in here. Hello, glooper. You are loud. Murder of Alasa. What did you see? What about a loss's room? Give me a hundred. I'll give you a hundred monies. Oh. All right, we're supposed to get dark side points for that, but whatever. Whoa! Can I even get any more dark side points? That might be what's telling me. So awesome! But I think I can get. But I think I can. You are the one defending Sunmi now, huh? Well. Tell me what you saw the night of the murder. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Can, uh, you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. Hmm. 
No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. I could pay, pay you 200 credits to say it. That's a lot of money. Maybe oh, I really? could do something for you then. All right, I'll do it. I'll tell the cell cat that he left before the shot went off. But this is our little secret. If you try and turn me in for lying, I'm making sure you come with me now. Was there anything? No, that will be good for me. Well, okay. Okay, yeah, I must be full dark then. Because I'm not getting any dark side points, and that was definitely a dark side thing. Maybe I only get them at, at the end. Alright, how much... Just only get a minus six for force lightning. That may be the maximum I can get. You, Jedi. I hear you are investigating the Sunry murder child. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. Kay, who are you? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. The Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? Uh, yeah. Dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. They just give it to me. No, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Okay, I gotta be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, okay, we're actually gonna take a break from that now-ish. And then go exploring. That's the Republic Embassy right there. Don't worry, we'll be dealing with them later. But there's something... Um... Where am I? Something here we want. A couple things here we want. Don't know if this is one of them. Okay, we want to be going this way next. The thing about this world is that half of these side quests can't actually be completed until you move. Whoa. Hey, this street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Number three. You talk big. But remember what we did to Taris. Maybe you're next on our list. Get out of my way. Touch you up. Anyways. As you might have noticed by that swoop fan th over there, there's some swooping going on here. And, well. I like to race. Now if I can remember where, the s where it is. Another shop. This, I believe, is the Sith Embassy. Yeah, we are not heading in there right now. And I want this on my map, so... Here we go. You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. <laughs> Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> I'm interested in buying something, definitely. <laughs> Inventory, please. Ooh. Let's 
Got some nice stuff in here. Offhand, I don't remember what I need, though, so sorry I'm out for now. But I will keep you in mind if I decide I need heavy plating for my droids. Yeah, my nose itches. I have no desire to speak to you. I know what you the hell is going on here? Okay. I'm going this way. Good feeling things are about to get very bad on Manan. There we go. Alright. Is it you I talk to? No thanks. Alright. Whoa, what am I stuck on here? Alright. I'm going to save before I start this one off. Oh, wrong one. Oh. Actually, I'm going to end the episode off here. In the next episode, we will do some swoop bike racing. In the meantime, thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Basilisk, and I'll see you all then. Have a good night, folks.